What's up Baller Nation, Augie Johnson here with BallerBootCamp.com and in today's video I'm going to be breaking down four different separation moves. We're talking about stop separation moves. I'll go ahead and explain what that is and everything but first let's go ahead and get right into the video. Alright guys, so we're talking about stop separation. What that means is we're going to stop better than our defender is and we're going to create separation by them continuing to retreat back to the basket and create that space for us to get into our shot or to change directions, whatever the case might be. Okay, so the first way, the most basic way and probably the most common way you're going to see stop separation used is with a one-two step. Okay, one-two step. So I had a triple threat, I'm playing or whatever, I drive and I use my one-two step, one two to stop and get up into my jumper or you can use it to hesitate or whatever so one more time so one two step I drive one two and get up into my shot while my defender is continuing his path or maybe he's here ugh, in this position and he can't contest your jumper okay so let's go ahead and take a look at just a few little one dribble pull-ups with that stop separation Okay, the next one is my personal favorite. This one is the behind the back snatch. Now, just like the one two step, we're also going to use a one two step into this one. So we penetrate, it's one two behind the back, right into our shot. And we want to make sure that we pound that dribble off our left foot just like before. So I'm here, one two behind the back into my shot, defender continues to retreat, we have space, or a lot of times I use this and I get all the way to the cup for a finish. Okay, so I'll come in here instead of picking it up. I'll change directions, keep my dribble, get to the basket, and try to finish. Okay, so let me show you one more time. The important thing is that you dribble off that left foot. Okay, you gotta pound it, and then pound it behind the back. Here it is, slow motion, one, two, stopping on a dime, getting into my shot. So let's take a look at that one, full speed. Okay, so the next variation that I'm gonna teach you guys is a pullback crossover. Okay, so if I come down here and I stop with this leg planted really hard, this is why we need to be strong at lunges and this kind of stuff, very game specific. So we're here and we're just gonna pull it back right here into our shot. So again, it's stop separation because we're gonna stop on a dime and then stop, pull it back and get into our shot. And as you can see, I got a little hop to create more space. I'm here, boom, hopping into my shot to get it off. So let's go ahead and take a look at that one full speed. All right guys, thanks for sticking with me for this long. The next one we have is a reverse through the legs snatch. So just like the pullback cross, it's very similar, but this time we're gonna pull it back uh, through our legs. So it looks like this, pull it back, into our shot. I've taught this in a few other videos, you've probably seen it before, so let's go ahead and take a look at that one full speed. And the final stop separation move that I'm going to teach you guys is the dead leg. Okay, so I'm going to drive in here, and the whatever hand the ball is in, I'm going to stop with that same foot. So for example, I'm going to come in here, stop with this foot, get right into my shot, or I can counter with this here, through the legs, behind the back. I have other video that breaks down this move in more depth, but here it is one more time. Here, stop, right into my shot. So let's take a look at that full speed. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Also, if you're new here, make sure you guys subscribe. And most importantly, head over to BallerBootCamp.com. Head over there, I got a free workout for you that you can download, print out, and follow to improve your shooting, improve your ball handling. It's 100% free, so go ahead, click the link that's on the screen right now, or first link in the description, and I'll see you guys inside that workout.